Kian bang boys. <laughs> well, good morning. Saturday, the fifth of December. I'm walking by the old warehouses in Chester. Been to take Chippendale for their early morning walk. It's uh, quite fresh, to say the least. Yeah, I've been moored up in Chester now a few days. Had a break from filming. Uh, put out a couple of the videos that you've seen um, of the cruise into Chester. I uh, think we're going down into the basin tomorrow, but still a bit unsure of uh, what the plans are really as yet. But look at these warehouses. Once upon a time, these would have been the hustle and bustle of the canal side industry. All the working boats loading up their grain here, or whatever goods they were. Yeah, magnificent. Must have been fantastic. You've got the River Dee, the way I'm facing now, heading down to export onto the big ships. And then behind me, that way, heading towards Barbridge and the narrow canals. So uh, these boys have had their early morning walk now. I'm going to head back to Chugs and get my breakfast. No real plans for today. I have got to do a couple of things for my solicitors. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping it's going to be a positive day today. I just hope it stays dry. Oh, and by the way, this Harker's Arms, uh, the wine bar here. They've got the tables and chairs outside, so looks like they're doing business. Boys, on you go. Come on. Come on, Chip. Good boys. Well, just had a lovely surprise. Just sat on the boat there, um, watching a bit of uh, YouTube actually on my tablet. Uh, quite comfortable, and there was a little tap on the window, and it was James. Now, if you remember James, he's appeared on my vlog a few times. Uh, he actually helped me out down uh, Audland Flight when I was with uh, Malcolm doing the Shropshire Union, and he came to help on the Llangollen as well. He travelled with me from uh, Rembury uh, up to Grinley Brook and did all the locks for me. Uh, he's been a fantastic help uh, on the boat, but he came just to wish me a happy Christmas. Uh, we stood outside, exchanged a night some few nice words. And it gave me that. Now it might not look much to you, but it's a windlass holder. You put your belt through there. He got it off a craft boat uh, on David John's vlog. He promoted a craft boat. Um, you put that on your belt and then you hang your windlass in the little loop. But that's not all. Look at that. It's personalised. Chuggabug. James, that's wonderful, mate. I'll treasure it and thank you. Very, very much indeed. That will really help me, I promise you. So, magic. Um, have a wonderful Christmas, you and your family. Right then, I'm going to sit down and watch YouTube again because there's not a lot else to do. I've got to take the dogs for a walk again in a bit. Um, but uh, ooh, I've just been out to say to Rata James and uh, it is very, very cold. See you, see you later. Thanks very much, James. Well, it's half past three outside. It's starting to go quieter in town and colder in the boat. I haven't got my central heating on. I've just lit the stove up to warm the boat up to get it nice and warm for us. The evenings soon get cold uh, when you're out on the cut. They really do. But feeling nice and chilled and cosy now for another evening on Chugs. We've got the fire lit. That's just taken now. So uh, we'll keep the boat warm. But I know Daily Whaley didn't go to the toilet on the last walk. They have like a routine now. Um, so I know he's going to need the toilet. So I don't want to walk too far in the dark with them later. So I'm taking them out now. At the boat and I've got new neighbours behind. Uh, and as soon as we came out of the boat, Dale went to the toilet. So that's good. Just walk up to the bin. Come on. Well, it looks like the fire's took on Chugs. Smoking like a good one. Right, time to get in chugs now and get warm. What do you think, boys? Should we go and get warm? 
Shall we chip still whips there? Shall we chip still whips there? Come on then, Dale. Let's go. Oh, it's dark. It's Sunday, the 6th of December. I haven't even made my bed, put it away yet. Um, unusual for me, I woke up and I could hear the bells and the cathedral strike um, five o'clock in the morning, on a Sunday morning. And I counted the bells and that's how I knew, obviously, it was five o'clock. So I dozed off a little bit. Next thing I know, I woke up. I thought I'll have a look at uh, my phone, have a look what the time is. And it was eight o'clock on a Sunday morning. I haven't had a wash yet. I've literally just got, got out of bed. I've had two cups of coffee lying in bed. Um, the heating's on, so the boat's getting nice and warm. I'm going to have a relaxing day, I, I think. But I, I think we are moving down to the basin today just to empty the toilets and top up the water and everything. Um, I'm going to do some washing, Steve's going to do some washing, so we may be going down Northgate Deep Lock, so watch this space. Um, it's been a nice stop up here at Cow Lane, I've seen some old friends, they've knocked on the boat, socially distanced, and they brought me presents and wine and everything, I'm not going to mention names. Um, but of course, you know who you are, and it's lovely to see you. I was supposed to be meeting another person, perhaps a new friend yesterday, but things happened and... Uh, well, that's not happening now, but um, if you're watching this, good luck for the future. I hope it all turns out. But uh, the boys, when I came to put the kettle on, I checked on them. And they're safe and they're in bed. Let's have a look. Spotted ears, so the chipsters come out. Good morning! Good morning! Are you okay, baby? Hello, good morning, little chipster whipster. Good morning, little baby boy. Where's your brother? Is he still in bed? Is he still in bed? Is he? Where is he? Is he in here? I've got to get a quick wash, haven't I, and get you two out there. Are you in there? Hello, Daily Whaley. Hello, Daily Whaley. I know, Chip. I know. You'll be wanting to go out. I know, my little man. Let me get ready. Do you want me to get ready? Yeah. You beautiful baby. Yeah. I've had my orders. <laughs> yeah, the dogs are the bosses. Right, wash, get ready, face the day. Well, it's like the old joke. Why did the moorhen cross the road? It's drizzly. Uh, I'm going to get my jumper on and my coat on now and uh, take the boys. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> I know, little man. And I know Dale is uh, still in bed, and that means only one thing. He needs the toilet. You get to know your little dogs, don't you? So he's hiding in this bed here, because he's, he's quite desperate for the loo. So I'm going to get my boots on as fast as I can and get them out there. So even though it's half past nine in the morning, I'm just walking the boys, it's still very, very quiet um, down here by the canal. It's nice. Rain stopped, so that's good. An early mover this morning. Well, I know I said it's been quiet here. I've been here since Wednesday and I've only seen uh, two boats moving. So uh, first thing on a Sunday morning, I walk under a bridge, and I see a bridge, a, a boat coming. That's unusual. Come on, you two. They've spotted a dog. Get back on chugs and a nice spam and egg fritter, I think. Nice spam and egg butty this morning. Just what the doctor ordered. Right, there's breakfast. And don't worry, I'm not going to show you how to cook it. Let's see what the day brings. They can smell the spam. They know there's meat. I have kept a little bit for ya. There's my very unhealthy breakfast. But every so often, 
It won't hurt. Got to do my washing up, uh, get all that done. That was a lovely breakfast. Haven't had one of them since I was driving the petrol tanker. Used to stop at a regular place and have one of them quite regular. Spam, uh, spam fritter and fried egg sandwich. Beautiful. And I wanted quite a substantial dinner um, because uh, Chris and Steve have offered a lovely lamb Sunday dinner for me later on. So that'll be nice. But I've just got off the phone to Steve. Uh, we've got to go down the locks because they need water. I'm going to put a washing load on now. I've had quite a few showers since I've been here. So I'm going to top my water up. I've got a toilet cassette to empty. Uh, so I'm going to prepare myself. So we're just going down. I don't think there's any moorings down there. So we're just going down and coming straight back up. So join us. Yeah. See, it's coming up to midday. There's all my washing. My nice clean underwear, shirts and stuff. So the load of washing is done. Right. Let's attack Northgate Deep Locks. Coming on 12 o'clock, we're ready to go. Just seen Steve on Amy Joe, So uh, we're going to get going. I've got the boys on the back just for now. They can come with me to the top lock. And then I'm going to lock them in the boat. But I've got a bin bag there as well with some, uh, some rubbish that we can get rid of in the, uh, in the bin station. Right, let's get going. Right, we're on our way. Say so we're only going down the locks and then coming straight back up. Just this point here, this moor in here, is where Joe and Michael stayed when they visited uh, our city of Chester. Uh, I know they loved it here, they stayed here for some time. And it is, it's a lovely moor in, and it's a beautiful city. And there you get the first glance of the Chester city walls that go all the way round the city. It is a fully walled Roman city, even to this day. Even this little cruise today is, uh, is doing me good. It's as if as soon as you put it into forward motion, all your problems, all your bad thoughts that you've got in your head, all the loneliness that I've had, just goes. It just goes. In the limestone rocks here, you can still see the grooves of the old working boats. And they were going down to the docks on uh, the River Dee here. Uh, you can see the ropes grooved into the rocks. You know, two, 250 years ago, these grooves were put in by the old working boats. It's just amazing. You can just see where those two ladies are now. Some, some grooves in the rock there. All from the old working boats' ropes. Wonderful. I presume they would have been stores for goods at one time. Or even stables perhaps for the horses. And as we go under the first bridge, if you can see the small bridge just uh, behind it, that's Chester's own bridge of size. I have said it in a previous vlog. It's where all the prisoners used to come from the old prison and then go over to the courts in Chester and inevitably be given the death sentence. And that's why they call it the Bridge of Size. There used to be cages over the top, uh, iron cages, so the people uh, couldn't jump, the prisoners couldn't jump off the bridge to attempt suicide. But during the World War II, all the metal was reused to make armament and aeroplanes for our fight battle. Right, I'm just coming to Northgate Deep Locks. See you in there know quite how that worked but the lock was actually in our favour which is surprising as one boat has just gone down so uh, hey ho in the top lock here at Northgate and there appears to be a problem with the middle pound uh, on this uh, staircase 
it leaks water so it's too low if you remember um, uh, Fran and Rich on their vlog they actually ground it out because you have to get it at least in the amber on, on the gauge so it's a bit low so we're just letting some water down into the centre point and then we're going there and that's the rubbish the bins to take some rubbish so it's all set there there's uh, Chris just on the paddle and the gentleman walking there is Ian also a boater lived on his boat many years with his good lady they're down in the basin yeah and this is why they call it the deep locks Northgate deep locks it's a long way down so we're just putting some water in let it fill up a bit and then we'll be good to go first time I came through these locks I dreaded them just the sound the noise of them Northgate deep locks but actually they're not as bad as you think they're actually quite a gentle uh, staircase it's not bad but I'm glad I've got help this morning though hello stay there let the boys out with me seeing as I'm uh, on deck all the way through so no problem at all uh, oh, Ian's doing the next paddle on the next gate for the last pound and those next gates each gate weighs just under four and a half tons each they're heavy gates here we are now in the second pound you can see the depth of them and the little footholes in case you fall in but they are deep locks these yes if you do fall in you can get on that sill and technically climb up the gate to get out there, Amy Joe's bow was just catching on the gate there they couldn't open the gate Amy Joe is a good 10 feet longer than uh, Chuggabug Chuggabug's uh, oh there we go there's Steve Chuggabug is 57 foot so obviously that means Amy Joe is 67 foot long there's always one that's got a bigger one, isn't there? Doing a sterling job up there on the paddles. <laughs> I believe she's got Smudge up there with her, so he's helping as well. Right, last pound before we drop down towards the basin. So we're in the last pound now before we drop out of the staircase lock here at Northgate. Uh, total drop of 32 foot uh, for the three pounds, so they are quite deep locks. That's it, Northgate deep locks done. So Steve's going to pick uh, Chris up now, just at the corner there. I'll pull up alongside briefly and then we we'll go into the water point and the Elson point. Change of plan, me and Steve are going round. Chris is going to walk with Smudge, but it's not far, it's just round this corner. Going under the old railway bridge here now. Must have been horrible for the old boaters to see this getting built. The end of an industry. Double moored next to Steve. And as you can see, it's a full house here in the basin. There is room uh, for one or two boats if they all sort of join up a bit. But no, we've, we've decided we're going to go back up. But uh, it's nice to see a couple of our friends down here as well. So that's nice. And there's Captain Pugwash. <laughs> well, I'm double moored up. I've emptied my toilet cassette and I'm just filling up with water using Steve's hose at the water point here. So that's it for this vlog. I'm not going to film going back up, as you've seen it already. So uh, we'll call it quits there. 
I'm going to get back up. There's a, there's a funny looking fella here though that's joined us. <laughs> yeah, that's our boat of friend, Eric. Right, folks, uh, you take care, you lot, and uh, we'll catch you soon. So uh, we'll catch you next time on Chugabug.